So hello everybody to my um, kind of reaction to the European qualifiers draw that happened yesterday uh, at noon. It's now a day later. I looked at the groups a little bit and saw how I think things are, I will go and I will share this with you and also spin it a little bit further in terms of how the qualifying playoffs uh, where we had the Nations League uh, ranking play in how that might work out, although it is a little bit more complicated as you might think, but now we have at least a chance because we can actually look at uh, potential examples. Uh, what am I wearing? Well, I wear the 2016 Portugal shirt, current European champions, that was the winning kit. I think it makes sense. Let's run through the groups. There are 10 groups, which I actually like that. Uh, it's a nice number and the qualifying criteria this time around it's not as complicated at least for the groups it gets very com complicated to determine the playoff teams but for the groups it's easy finish in the top two and you qualify so let's look at the groups uh, I made here some notes I put them here now on the computer uh, so if I look down I'm looking at my notes the first group is and I put it the way it was um, uh, seeded the first five groups all have five teams those are the First four are the ones that have um, the teams in the final four of the Nations League, plus a fifth group where uh, this is not happening, uh, where they have two open slots uh, that they can use for friendlies each team. All the other groups play the entire year on the qualifying games. Okay, finally, that was a lot of talking around it. The first group, Group A, is England, the Czech Republic, Bulgaria, Montenegro, and the Kosovo. A deceivingly easy group for England, but I think this is a very, very even group overall. Uh, England, I, I also wrote down odds. England has very uh, low odds, so you get 116 for England to uh, win the group. Uh, whereas the Czechs who are second are nine. Bulgaria is only 15 and Montenegro is uh, 13 and then Kosovo is 23. You see already a very, very, very even group. We will see other groups where the odds for the last plus team are very um, uh, much higher. And I would agree this is a very uh, even group and I think the race for place two is pretty much open in this one. Um, I would like Bulgaria to go through. Um, I just have my doubts. Uh, they have played a great Nations League uh, at first, but in the end it was a little bit stuttering. So. I still would say the Czechs, but uh, you know, you never, never discount Montenegro and Kosovo has been playing great as well. So, but I think I would say England and Czechia will uh, qualify from that group. Next group is similar, uh, but it's more even on the top. You have Portugal, the Ukraine, Serbia, Lithuania, and Luxembourg. Uh, note in the previous group, England and Kosovo already have a at least a playoff spot uh, guaranteed. Portugal, Ukraine, Serbia. Here we have three teams with a playoff spot guaranteed. So one of at least one of these teams uh, will not qualify, and we have to have some shifting up. That's important to note. I think. Portugal will win this group, but if you look at the odds, Portugal 144, I found uh, Ukraine 450, Serbia 450, Lithuania 126, and Luxembourg 501. And don't discount Luxembourg, they have been doing some damage here or there. I would expect them to pull an upset. I'm not sure if they will do it like, I think they, they drew with France in the World Cup qualifier. Um, Portugal should win this. Between Ukraine and Serbia, it's a pretty even matchup i would favor the serbs i know they are league c team but i would favor the serbs because they have a little bit more experience they were at the world cup already and uh, i like the generation now um nothing against ukraine but i think serbia is the one team that could make it out of there group c is the one that grabbed all the headlines in a way because that's the only one where we have two big nations kind of clashing we have the netherlands with germany northern ireland estonia and belarus um, I don't see anything but the Netherlands and Germany getting out of it. Northern Ireland will put a little bit of a dent in everyone's hopes there, but uh, I don't see Estonia or Belarus especially threatening. This should be an easy peasy group for the two big ones. Should. We already said that for the Netherlands um, in 2014. 
Uh, the odds are actually Germany 144, uh, Netherlands 250. So Germany is favored over the ne Netherlands. And I actually would uh, agree with that. Uh, that uh, the Netherlands made it to the final four over Germany. I think this was more a fluke than anything. Northern Ireland 34, Belarus 67, and Estonia 126. So Belarus over Estonia. Netherlands and Belarus have at least a qualifying spot, a playoff spot guaranteed. So here we have two teams. Group D, um, also kind of evenish. Switzerland, Denmark, Ireland, Georgia, and Gibraltar. Uh, again, three teams that have a playoff spot guaranteed with Switzerland, Denmark, and Georgia. Denmark again has to play Ireland. They played them in the World Cup qualifiers, they played them in the Nations League, and they are playing them now again. So I think they're those are pretty tired of each other by now. Uh, Switzerland is favored at 191. I would agree with that. Denmark, I think I would favor over Ireland as well, 270 and Ireland 433. Um, but I think Ireland's close, slowly closing the gap again. I think could something happen? Georgia 351, Gibraltar 501. Uh, the next group has no team with a playoff spot, but it's still the last one with five teams. We have Croatia, Wales, Slovakia, Hungary, and Azerbaijan. Um, Croatia should win this group flat, uh, outright. Um, I think Wales, I would at the moment put ahead of Slovakia and Hungary, but I wouldn't discount those two. Slovakia Hungary is actually kind of an iffy matchup if I think about it. Wales is at uh, Croatia 133 to win the group. 450 for Wales, Slovakia at 8, Hungary at 21, and Azerbaijan at 151. So, you know, you see already where this is going, but I still think the, the, the top three, even for I don't discount Hungary. Hungary is the weakest team in the group, but I think they could do something. Uh, especially take points of Slovakia, and I'm not so convinced yet of Wales uh, as well, but I think Wales will not be unhappy to be in this group. Now we're in the bigger groups, uh, and Group F is uh, in many regards also an interesting one. Uh, we have Spain who are the top favorites, although I think the odds half a year ago would have been much higher. They only have one third to win this group. Sweden and Norway already playoff spots, so we have two teams in there. Then Romania, Ferry Islands and Malta. Just by the look of it, is Spain and Sweden should qualify from this group. But Norway played a very, really good Nations League campaign. Romania, I think also, they hung in there with the Serbs. So Romania is a pesky team. The Faroe and Malta should not go. So we have Spain at 130, Sweden 550, no, uh, Norway 10, Romania 9, Faroe 351 and Malta 751. Uh, group G, Austria's group. And it's a very mixed bag. Um, from pot one, you got the team you wanted, Poland, like two years ago when we got Wales. Um, Israel, then Austria. Israel is um, maybe not the worst opponent from the third pot, but there is some rivalry going because the sporting director that was fired last year by the Austrian Federation went to Israel. And he hired Andreas Herzog, uh, the record international for Austria badly wanted the Austria job and really felt um, overlooked, to say the least. So they want to prove something. And also a former last goalkeeper, the former last goalkeeper, I gotta say, is uh, coaching the goalies in Israel. So uh, kind of an iffy duel. Uh, Slovenia is also in there, although they didn't play a great Nations League. Uh, their neighbors, I think Slovenia has a rough spot, but uh, it has to be said, um, yeah. I take Slovenia over some other choices. Then Firam, Northern Macedonia, Macedonia is in there, which have a playoff spot, so there's only one team in there, and then Latvia, which is probably out of the last spot between Malta, Latvia, Andorra, San Marino, and Liechtenstein. I think I would take all the others rather than Latvia, but okay. So you see everyone in this group will like it, and uh, Firam, I think, is an opponent that is not that highly rated, but I wouldn't put it uh, that they, you know, it's not out of question that they will take some points from the top teams. Slovenia, I don't know where it is. The odds are 183 Poland, 230 Austria, 10 Israel and 15 Slovenia. That tells you how even it is on the top kind of uh, very, very interesting group. Yeah, in this group. I would say Poland and Austria go through, but I'm saying this with a little bit of a bellyache for Austria. 
it's too good to be true. We have been lucky with draws as of late, maybe not for a Nations League, although the group was also not that bad. But at Euro 2016 we got the perfect group we didn't make out of it. We got a really perfect draw for a World Cup qualification, didn't make much of it. Yes, there was Serbia in there, but he also had Wales. Um, this group reminds me a little bit of that. And it, I don't like that we start with Poland at home and then Israel away. <sighs> right off the bat, you know uh, where you're headed. And the last thing I want to say, the two two of the jerseys, that, the national team jerseys I want to get was for sure the Slovenia jersey. And I've been thinking a little bit about Poland as well. So <laughs> now they're in the group. I'm not sure if I will get one, but who knows. Group H, France, clear favorite 116, Iceland. There was something, quarterfinal, Euro 2016. Turkey, Albania, Moldova, and Andorra. And this is another group where it's not exactly in that order predicted. Um, France and Turkey are the favorites there. I'm not so sure about it. On, on, honestly, but I go with the odds with France at 116, Turkey 550, Iceland at 10. I think Iceland lost a lot of credit after their Nations League showing where they lost everything. But I'm not so sure that Iceland and Turkey, that's, I think, a lot more even. And again, they are, they are again playing each other. Uh, then one would think Albania 34 is a dark horse, I would say. Moldova 251, Andorra 1001. Forget about it. Then a group that I'm sure one of the one team that has a playoff spot secured will not be very happy with uh, Belgium, Russia, Scotland, Cyprus, Kazakhstan, and San Marino. Scotland was hoping for a better draw, I'm sure about it. Um, Belgium 120, Russia 5, Scotland 12. I think that's pretty much the order I would go. Then Cyprus, Kazakhstan, and San Marino. I, I really think this is the order it should go. Um, I was also hoping that Scotland will get a nicer draw. For some reason, I want Scotland to be at the Euros. But, you know, they are in the qualifying playoff and will come to that. So, but I think out of the group, Belgium and Russia should make it. I'm pulling for Scotland to get a, sec a second spot there. And then the last group is also a deceiving one. It's Italy, Bosnia, Finland, Greece, Armenia, and Liechtenstein. Greece and Finland are playing again. They played already in the World Cup qualifiers. They played already in the Nations League. Now they play again. It's a tricky group. Uh, Italy is, of course, the favorite. Uh, and they've been playing well. But, you know, Italy is a team that you can get points off because they're not scoring any goals and they're not as lethal any, anymore. Bosnia is the exact opposite. They don't... I saw this in the They don't play well, but they score goals out of nowhere. Uh, I still maintain in the... Four games that they played in the Nations League, they only should have won one outright. In all the other three games, maybe the draw in Austria was okay, but the first two games that they played, that should have been two losses. And they pulled this out. Because of their individual quality, they have great, wonderful players. And in Austria, they showed that they are really a dangerous team, and uh, the draw was very well deserved. Uh, and even the home game against Austria, I think it looked more like a nil-nil draw, although... I had the feeling Austria was overall the slightly better team, but I think a, 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 a draw would have been probably the justified result. In Northern Ireland, I'm sorry, Northern Ireland should have beaten Bosnia. I will always maintain that this was unlucky and was down to um, not... <laughs> how, 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 how to say, yeah, Northern Ireland was missing chances left and right. But that opens for Finland and Greece some opportunities, and those teams are also not quite perfect. I'm interested to see how Finland now, they will not have the advantages in the Nations League, where they have to get the many home games at, uh, ahead. I think it will be rather the other side around. It. I haven't looked at the schedule, but I could imagine that uh, in March they might not start with a home game now. Uh, and it goes more through the warmer months, so uh, that'll be interesting. I would say Greece should finish at least third in this group. Um, if they have a good campaign, they can challenge for a second spot. Um, but so could Finland if they play it the same way. It still should be Italy and Bosnia uh, going through just by form, but Bosnia is a mixed bag like most of the former Yugoslav teams. You don't know what you're getting. So if Italy 136, Bosnia 5, Greece 8, Finland 15, Armenia 34, Liechtenstein 501. Now we could go how the 
uh, Nations League playoffs are all set up. Note we have, if you go from what I said now, we have 11 teams out of League A that are qualified via the uh, traditional qualifiers. Only Iceland, I said, is because of the odds behind Turkey, and that's I'm not guaranteed, but I'm saying now Turkey, France, Turkey, Iceland, that order. Then out of League uh, B, we have nine teams, uh, no, we have eight teams that qualify. Only Ukraine, Slovakia, Ireland, and Northern Ireland uh, would not qualify, given that the odds are correct. Uh, out of League C, Serbia would qualify, all the rest doesn't, uh, would not, and out of League D, no one would qualify. That will set up the following playoffs. I'm just going quickly over them. The League A playoff, I, the only League A team that did not uh, qualify would be Iceland, so Iceland would get the first spot. The three spots would be filled up by the remaining teams. But first we have to look at B, C and D. B, the four teams, and that's exactly the four, four teams that uh, did not qualify, they will make up the playoff, are uh, Ukraine, Slovakia, Ireland, Northern Ireland, so it would be Ukraine against Northern Ireland, Slovakia against Ireland, and the winner qualifies. I think Ukraine should do that. Similar for the League C playoff, uh, where we have the we have Scotland, we have Finland, we have Norway, so we qualify, so there Bulgaria gets the next spot. So it will be Scotland, Bulgaria, Norway, Finland. I have a feeling that Scotland could pull this off. Of course, I would love if Bulgaria will pull this off. And uh, League D, as uh, advertised, Georgia will play Belarus, which is the four seed, and uh, Firearm, the two seed, will play Kosovo. Interesting, the two Soviets against the two former uh, Yugoslav republics, and then the winner will go on. So that leaves the three spots for League A. And those, since we have taken out of League A, we put Iceland in there. League B is completely taken by the eight qualifiers and the four teams in the League B playoff. So we have to go to League C to get this. And the next teams after um, uh, Bulgaria are Israel, Hungary, Romania. And Greece would just miss out. So bad ranking in a way. And therefore, uh, we would put Iceland with the last place, the last one of those, which is Romania, Iceland versus Romania, Israel against Hungary. And honestly, I cannot tell you who I would favor there. I think Iceland would probably still be the top team there, but I think all four of these, there's a chance. I want to say Israel. They have not played too badly, but you know, I would say... If you would ask me, I would say Iceland makes it out of the A, Ukraine out of B, Scotland and Georgia, which is boring because it's the one seats in each of them. Well, this is how it goes. I gave you a little bit more info because it's might. really a little bit complicated and you need to see the seating next to you. I did this in the afternoon. Uh, it was a little bit of work, but actually it was fun. So, and here it is all summarized all together for you to enjoy one more time, color coded everything. Um, yeah, have a look, maybe scroll back, enjoy that. Um, as I said, it was a lot of work, but it was fun and I hope this was very useful to you. Let me know how you think uh, qualifying is going and whether you agree with the assessment of the groups. I used only odds. This was not really that much of my personal assessment. I said I'm gonna go with what the bookies are offering uh, and this kind of average odds that I found. Uh, but yeah, I would like to hear which uh, teams you think are gonna win here and there. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked that video. Um, leave a comment if you want to see a little bit more explanation. Um, I'm very willing to do this, but it might take me a while. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this, or my jersey videos. Most of these shirts I've already covered, but not all of them. And there are other things you can take, see my takes on current events and um, jersey reviews over and over. Be glad to have you. Um, also follow my blog where I write a lot about jerseys. So if you like soccer jerseys like me, that would be a good place to be. So yeah, uh, so hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the like button, and I will talk to you soon.